Well, good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. Um, Friday mornings mean it's time for me to figure out what's on my heart. So, Friday from the heart today is about the beginning of my week, actually. I was able to go down Sunday to Sarasota to see my Uncle Dick and Aunt Cheryl. And many of you... Um, that follow us and hang out with us know that back in November, while we were on air, I got a call from Aunt Cheryl um, that Uncle Dick had had a massive, massive heart attack. In fact, they um, had to bring him back twice in the ambulance. Um, so it was touch and go for three or four weeks and he's back better than we thought, but certainly not what he was before that. And he's in his 80s now, so we know that time is just precious. And last week, I just had this gnawing feeling like we've got to go. We've got to go see him. And um, not that I want a paper issue or paper back order in the world, but because everything was on back order and we were in a holding pattern, I took that as God's way of saying, okay, go because we had planned twice before to go, and both times I ended up sick, the second time with pneumonia, so I couldn't risk giving him anything. So we were down there just a little over 24 hours, but Keller made it happen as well. And it just reminded me how when we have those nudging and nudgings and those prompts to do something, we just absolutely need to do it right then and there. And what a funny thing time is. Like, we don't know how much more time we're gonna have him, but why should it take something like a heart attack to make us look at time is so fleeting, right? I mean, I just said he's in his 80s. Like, we should be making time as much as we can anyway. And should it only be when people are older like that? No, I mean, that's the answer I'm giving myself now. The more I am working hard, working, working to rest, working hard at practicing Sabbath time, I'm realizing that I want to be filling that time like with the people in places that I shouldn't be taking for granted at all. And I think the other thing that really got me thinking about time and what a funny thing it is is when I was telling him goodbye and, you know, we were telling each other how much we loved each other and he was so grateful we had been down there. But I said, we'll be back in three months because not very long after we got there, Keller was like, can we spend my birthday here? And I think it's actually four months from now, but, um, or three and a half, I don't know. And I was like, absolutely. And mom was like, how are you going to make that happen? And I'm like, I'll figure it out. No matter what the situation is, if Keller is asking me to go to Sarasota and more specifically Siesta Key, where I lived as a child, whatever it takes, I'll figure out how to do it. Even if we can sleep in our car in the parking lot, right? I will get him down there more to know and love the place that has grounded me my whole life. Um, that beach is just my sacred place. And so I was like, absolutely, we'll come back. So when I was hugging Uncle Dick goodbye, um, I said, we'll be back in three months. And he looked at me and said, that's a hundred years. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I'll see if we can do it sooner. But isn't that how things are? Like what three months could seem this long sometimes. And when you're working every day and all, it's like, wow, three months from now, I'll have this, 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 and this done. But then three months comes and you're like still working on all those things. Like sometimes three months is not enough, but three months to him feels like a hundred years. And I just was like, I, you're absolutely right. I get it. I will try to get back sooner. And if I don't like, just know how much I love you and when God says it's time, we all have to be okay with that. And 
it just really got me thinking about time. How precious it is and how those few hours we spent with him will be what we cling to forever. I mean, Keller and I have talked about it every day since we got back. Just that little bit of time. I mean, it wasn't just a gift to him. It was such a gift to us. And then the other thing that really came out of it for me is the reminder that I needed why we do what we do. I mean, most of you follow me for scrapbooking, right? That's what I've done. I mean, we're pushing 30 years of this now. And that's why. I mean, as bad as Uncle Dick feels, like in a wheelchair and on oxygen, I was like, you know what I need to do. And he's like, I know, let's do it. And he made it out to the beach for us to do pictures. He didn't make it onto the beach, but we had that pretty beach backdrop in the parking lot. And I was like, I'll take it. And he laughed and was silly and, you know, humors me for anything like that that I want to do. But we are left with those priceless pictures of that day. Um, I mean, Aunt Cheryl already is so grateful for those, but we are too, right? Um, if you follow our photo a day in the creative group, I um, posted, I think, one or two in there. I'm not sure. But anyway the gift of time, no matter how short it is, and take the picture. That's why we do all this, right? I mean, because pretty soon that's all we're going to have left are those amazing, amazing pictures to remind us. And they, some of the ones I got weren't even um, like at our little planned photo shoot at the beach. I sat back and just watched Uncle Dick and Keller at lunch and snapped some of my favorite pictures I've ever taken their expressions and it just you could feel it and feel the love and the laughter in the photos so that's what's on my heart today how important a little bit of time is and um to make somebody feel special and and to do something for yourself take the time for those things we keep putting off before it's too late and then no matter where and what you're doing take the picture take the picture all right happy friday y'all